You're saying you married them and then you murdered them all and now I'm next? Yes, afraid so. This is either the dumbest idea we ever had or... No, it probably is. You asked if the food was satisfactory. Speaking as an Englishman, I must say I really don't know. You've seen The Wizard of Oz too many damn times. There's, there's nothing you could have done. His internal organs were just riddled with bullets. Fix him up, Doc. You gotta fix him, okay? I have a confession to make. I'm kind of glad that guy stabbed you. Crap! Which way do you think they went? Shut up and let me listen for him. You'd never guess, but I'm huge fan of yours. May I have autograph? The place looks like a damn function room in a Chinese restaurant in North Dakota. Man, you're annoying. Or I guess I'm annoying. Hang in there! We feel I could get you. I see our little rat problem has been successfully addressed. Except for the fat little egg-shaped one. He's fat because he's smarter. He knows where all the cheese is. Hunter! 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 No, it's totally ruined. You know it looks clean for once. Camera's off at Bolton! It's for my scrapbook, you officious little twerp! Well, cut a doodle-doo. Never knew you were fluent in chicken. Oh, I'm real good with foul language. Is he dead? Nah, the guy's a professional killer. I don't know what it is, but they're like damn cockroaches. If it's what I think it is, this guy's a clucking genius! That's it, a billion smackers. This Kichi's gotta be a freaking saint or something. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for part three of tonight's special event. That's the part where I, Lupin the Third, steal all your stuff and leave you sputtering in impotent rage. Thank you for your cooperation. In the words of our great leader, you are either with us or your little ass is grass. Now, excuse me, I have to go practice my bimbo giggle. <laughs> yeah, that's getting better. This is no time for a snack. We're all very... He should be more paranoid of preposterous dramaturgy. Opera fan, probably. Everybody's a critic. Ah, don't worry, Inspector. I read the file on him. I'll just see to it that my men don't make the same mistakes you have. Mistakes? You mean, like, that mustache of yours? A 3D idiot protector? Video projector. Someone asking for you, Inspector. And she's got a real sexy voice. Hmm. Hey, we've done all we can for the guy. He's on his own this time. <sighs> and there are still two left for us. Are you sure? Uh, you know, I mean... Uh-huh. Voila! This is it, my friends. You know, it's moments like these that make a guy proud to be a violent criminal. <laughs> I've got to do something. He's getting worse. <laughs> Fujiko thinks she's got it tough, but I'm the one with a vengeful ex who happens to be the queen of the zombies. What the hell do you guys think I pay you for? To be as freaking useless as the cops? Have some professional pride! Great performance, Lupin. Arnold Schwarzenegger's got nothing on you. Danke schön. <laughs> That's Wayne Newton for Bite Me, Baby. Holy guacamole! Now, listen carefully. Where's the safe? Look, you've already got two nostrils. You really don't want a third one. <laughs> of all the ridiculous, fluky-ass crap, there's a hearse pulling up. Fluky ass nothing. Lupin is to be shot on sight. If you fail, I expect you to shoot each other. Come on. Is it me or is this train scene right out of From Russia with Love? Gotta run, Pop. And hey, good luck with the scrapbook, you sentimental fool. Off be the same. I don't know. It looks bad. So does your beard, but so what? Jetta. Mother Russia. Thank you for all your hard work on Hitler's last day. Now get, get ready, ready for, for the, the sequel, sequel, The Last Day of Lupin the Third. Fear not, oh bearded one. If I ran out of royal subjects, who would I have to worship me, huh? Show them the blunt end of your sword. My second favorite uh -huh. end. But I'm fully armed with a handsaw and a desperate plan. Lord Gabriel, your feelings right now. Please call it a dirigible. The word blimp is so vulgar. <laughs> and there you have it. The pedantic pampered aristocrat misses the point entirely. <laughs> hey, Lupin, just wake up, man. This is Fujiko we're talking about here, and that bitch would sell us out for cab fare. Quite brilliant, really, I must say. It's got me pondering the best orifice for my stamp collection. Uh, no way, I'm not gonna touch that one. Oh, he can have a trial as long as we get to kill him first. <gasps> And all the poultry that any man could desire. So, how'd it go down there? Well, let's just say you're gonna have to start addressing me as your extreme loveliness. Actually, you're already a royal pain. 
Ooh, you're gonna discipline me now? Drunk again! <laughs> so, come on, Cardilan, Mousetrap, Hungry Hippos, hmm? I'm being mocked, I can just tell! Uh, you can't really be dead! <laughs> I never told you this before, but I love you! <laughs> hey, think about it. Rich guy in a wheelchair blows it all on blimps. Doesn't take Freud, for God's sakes. Ha oh. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Great White's off the starboard bow! I don't care if you're from the North Pole and you work for Santa Claus, you know? First to arrive is Sherlock Holmes the Third. Hmm. Yes, appears to be steps of some kind. <laughs> Damn, Lupin, you're really pathetic. Well, there's no point in asking Goyamon. Might as well ask the damn toaster. Hmm. Here. <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah, who's the man? That would be me. Yes, indeed. Don't fool with me, young whippersnapper. I'm in no mood. Now, you get out of here right now, or this time I'll bury you for real. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I do like my butt. And that car there, it's Lupin! Come on, let's go, let's go! Oh, no. Anyway, I know just what he means. Something about this guy really brings out the concubine in me. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> How many times have I got to tell you, use the sharp end, all right? Very funny, and did you miss them all? Where'd you find those stinky rags, huh? Hey, that's uncalled for. We stink these rags up all by ourselves. It is an honor to have you all aboard the Handenberg. I trust you all enjoyed your meal. We can retire now to the solarium for a game of Twister. The hell with that. I mean, I don't want to be rude, but I didn't come here to have fun. I came here because you promised to deliver Lupin. Yeah, I'm with old Foot Fungus here, unless you're talking about naked drunken Twister, because I'm always up for that. Not to sound too much like Goyamon or anything, but... With swift, enveloping wings, implacable death will swoop down upon any who dare touch the grave of Pharaoh. So you seeing anyone? <coughs> nah. You? You kidding? Who's got time? Are we too career-oriented? <coughs> Lupin, you all right? Talk to me! I'm a little busy right now. I'll get back to you. Yep, she's crazy about me. Her guy says, hey, they may be commies, but at least they're fellow homicidal totalitarians. Pretty being pony! <laughs> uh, where am I? Uh, um... Look, exploding snow! Idiot! Somebody set off a charge on the hill! And that? May I cut in? Cause when you're in love, you have the strength of ten men! Or eleven! Or ten guys and three midgets! Or let's see now! Who the hell was that? Nobody. Just a funeral home. Who died? Somebody's gonna die. Yours truly. My money! That's mine! No! Funny thing about Bela Lugosi, frightful drug addict, you know, and yet... He screwed Clara Bow and wrestled a rubber octopus. Sorry, darling, I'm taking this as my divorce settlement, so have your people call my people. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. Thank you, dress-wearing man. Gangs, drugs, violence, pornography. Yeah, they got a lot of everything there. Hmm, a flying pun. He bugged us? Hmm, it doesn't seem to be poisoned. You're lucky. Careful, it's a demon. <laughs> That's pretty good driving for a monkey. Hey, come on, man. I'm starting to get genus envy here. Sheesh. Let's go. Jaginski. Such touching concern. I ought to take Rip Van Schickelgruber here and throw him back over the wall. I'm not even a freaking woman. Oh, well, nobody's perfect. Uh, by the way, that crap about taking back that crap, I take back that crap. You're as good at stealing money as I was at earning it. Thank you. This clown over here, that's Lupin. He's been designated a menace to about 187 different countries. Who heard of a pitchfork in a barn? My compliments to your tailor, my dear Jessica. Can I take your order now, sir? Yeah. I. Fly! Fly! And whatever the hell floor is in German. I mean, it's amazing. This guy is a genuine psychopath. Bye, Lupin. Hope you rest in peace. Don't be too mad, Kay. You gotta be kidding me. I'm afraid it appears the yoke's on us, old friend. Yeesh. I'm not laughing. Whoa! You're a woman! What? One day, world will thank us for getting rid of capitalist parasites. Uh, contrary to what you might have heard, my bedroom's not a drive through No. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go! I'm not what you call a party animal, so count me out of this. He's right. 
Have either of you two ever seen Goyamon try to dance? It's frightening. Or as they say on Bourbon Street, laissez les bon temps rouler, man. <laughs> Come on, comrade, I'll throw in some Japanese vodka. Whoa, please, I'm begging you. One billion dollars. Huh? Hello. Jeez, man, what the hell happened to you? You mean after I found out some bastard stole my car? What? You're even more handsome when you're naked. You're even more handsome when you're naked. Ciao, you can keep everything that falls on the ground. But hey, guys. Shouldn't we be out stealing something, or running for our lives, or, uh, I don't know, something? I, Goemon Ishikawa, say to you, ha ha! But I still can't believe we came all the way to Africa for it. Me neither. Huh? Of all the gin joints in the world, right? This is not a good thing. Damn it, Lupin, I warned you about this, you know. No, you didn't. What? Oh, man, Fujiko, you are one bad mamma jamma. Hmm, how bold and romantic of you. How friggin' pathetic and disgusting.